in this problem we are given that the sides the lengths of the sides a and b and the angle a are given further it is said that c1 and c2 are the possible values for the lengths of the side corresponding to c then we need to find what is the sum of the areas of the two possible triangles so what are the two possible triangles the first triangle will have sides a b and c1 the next triangle will have the sides a b and c2 so we need to find the sum of these two triangles so in problems involving this since it is given that c1 and c2 are possible lengths of the side c it means that c1 and c2 are the roots of a quadratic equation now how can we get c1 and c2 to be the roots of a quadratic by making use of the cosine rule because the cosine rule gives us a formula which involves quadratic terms now what is the cosine uh, the cosine rule for which angle should be taken that is a question so here we are given the value of angle a and therefore we can make use of cos a and write down the terms so what do we get here we can write it as cos a equals so what do we have we have b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2 bc now yes this does look like a quadratic in c because if we can very well write it as c square minus 2 bc cos a all right and what is the constant term the constant term is equal to b square minus a square so plus b square minus a square equals 0 yes so this definitely is a quadratic if you consider every c as unknown variable and all the other things to be constants all right now if you consider this as a quadratic there are two term there are two roots for this quadratic and the sum of the roots is equal to so if you take the roots as c1 and c2 we can write immediately c1 plus c2 is equal to 2b cos a because that is a negative of the coefficient corresponding to c so once we have this in order to find the sum of the areas of the possible triangles the formula for that is very easy so we can write it as half b c1 sin a this is the area of the first triangle and the next triangle it is half b c2 sin a all right now this is equal to so there are the let us take the common terms so that is b by 2 sin a times c1 plus c2 which we have already found out it is equal to 2b cos a so what ultimately we are getting is b square sin a cos a which can also be written as b square by 2 sin 2a so this was a very good problem because it actually made use of the critical fact that the roots of the the sum of the roots of the quadratic and uh, further the quadratic itself was obtained using the cosine rule